What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Casper's Kicks is in the building. As always, I hope y'all are staying safe and staying blessed. Doing well out here during these times. So today for y'all, we are going to switch up the content again. Y'all know I like to diversify what I bring to y'all. So today, I actually have some sneaker information about the Hyper Royal ones that are coming out this weekend. Today is April 13th, and I actually just kind of got some news yesterday that kind of changed how this release is going to be, I feel like. So as always, just stick around, stay tuned, like, and, like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, but let us, let's go ahead and get into it. So like I was saying, so like I said, today's April 13th, so yesterday, April 12th, I actually got some information. Uh, if you don't follow Soul Links on Twitter, on Twitter, go ahead and follow them on Twitter. They tweet out great information about releases, restocks, different things like that. But I was on my phone and I saw a tweet pop up and it was about sneakers and the release for the Hyper Royal ones. So I went and checked it out and I was kind of confused. So I went and checked my sneakers and didn't see anything. And then I refreshed and I was like, oh wow. But so how normal releases work on sneakers for the most part is they just drop the shoe and then you have a couple minutes to enter and then they select winners. Well, for the Hyper Royal release, it's actually been changed to a draw. So I will show y'all what I mean. So if you see here, it has draw on the top right corner. If you can see that, but I'll go into the shoe as well. So it says draw opens 417, if you can see that there. And that's for the Hyper Royals. So originally, like I said, this release, it wasn't a draw. It was just a regular release. You know, you'd be able to go in like any other normal sneaker release, uh, hit purchase, and then wait and see if you got the, got the uh, shoe. So basically, there are two ways that sneakers does releases. They do a Leo drop, and then they do a draw. Leo drop, which Leo stands for let everyone order, is when you go and you have like three minutes to enter. You know, basically, it's as quick as you can enter, and then they pick winners. With the draw, it's about a 10 minute window, usually 10 minutes, sometimes it can be six minutes, but it just depends on the release. But usually it's a 10 minute window where you have the opportunity to go in, put in your size and so forth and so on, like you do for the Leo releases, but this one is just the window to enter is wider or longer since it's 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, basically they'll go in and randomly select people and then they'll let you know if you want. Now, me personally, I never went on draws. I'm not a big fan of draws, but with this one, this is actually, I feel like the first Jordan that they've done a draw on, or especially a general, a GR Jordan, which stands for general release. I don't remember it. I, don't, I couldn't even recall if they've actually ever done a general, a draw on a GR Jordan. If you know, let me know in the comments. But like I said, I don't remember off the top of my head if they've ever done it before. And the other crazy thing is that they're actually doing a draw for the Jordan 11 lows that are coming out in a couple weeks as well. So I don't know if Nike is going to start doing more draws for these Jordans that are coming out. I feel like this is a way to make it easier for people to cop the shoe. Because I know with the Leo drops, a lot of bots and have easier time getting uh, being able to purchase the shoe. So I don't know if the draw will help with that or if the draw will make it worse. I feel like it will make it worse just because then bots have more time to go in and be able to put in more reservations or requests to purchase the shoe. So I'm not really sure what, what the deal is. I haven't really heard any information. Like I said, I just saw on Soling's Twitter that they were changed it to a draw. And so I went on mine and I refreshed. I had to refresh the page because when I first went into sneakers, I didn't see it. But once I refreshed sneakers, I saw that it, it was changed to a draw. So, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of draws. I'm not too happy that it's a draw, but it may end up being easier to cop the shoe with it being a draw. It'll be interesting to see this weekend. Like I said, the release is uh, 4 17, April 17th. So, it'll be interesting to see if the draw makes it easier compared to a Leo drop. Now, the other information I have with the Hyper Royals is that it does, it seems like there may be some issues with this shoe. So when I say that, so yesterday, like I said, it was the 12th yesterday, I actually went to the mall to do a inter in-store reservation at Shoe Palace. And so I got my reservation done there and I actually ended up calling JD Sports to see if they were doing an in-store raffle or if they were doing an online raffle. Well, they let me know that they didn't know if they would be doing in-store or online, that I would have to check online to see what type of reservation uh, they were doing for the Hyper Royals. Well, I checked online and I didn't see anything about in-store or online release. 
And that was Monday. And usually JD starts their raffles on Tuesday. As of today, I still have not heard any information about whether they were doing an in-store raffle or an online raffle. And the same goes for foot sites. And like I said in previous video, foot sites are foot action, foot locker, champs, kids foot locker. All of those, I, out of all of those, I think the only ones I've seen the Hyper Reels on is Foot Locker, which they have GS reservations open, which is at grade school sizes. They have grade school size reservations open. They have no men's on any foot site apps. So no men's sizes on Foot Locker, Foot Action Champs, or Kids Foot Locker. Of course, Kids Foot Locker doesn't have men's sizes. But the only one that you could enter a reservation for on right now is grade school Foot Locker, and that's it. I've seen the shoe on Champs. Uh, for their upcoming releases, but I have not seen you be able to do a reservation on there. So it really seems like the Hyper Royals are either going to be delayed or stores are trying to figure out the best way to release these shoes. In my opinion, I think they may end up getting delayed. I know like with the Raging Bull 5s that just came out this past weekend, there have been tons of stores talking about they're getting late shipments in, stuff is just delayed. Some stores got grade school sizes and no men's sizes. Some stores got men's sizes and no grade school sizes. So, as you know, there's just been tons of delays during COVID. That's just been how it's been since COVID hit. I know with shipping overseas and places being shut down, it's just been harder to get some of these shoes in and just takes longer. So, I feel like foot sites, like I said, Foot Locker and all them, I feel like that the Hyper Royals could be delayed. It's really no telling. I feel like either today, which is Tuesday, or tomorrow, Wednesday, if we don't have any information on if they will have a raffle or not, I feel like that'll be an indication that they'll get delayed to a later day. I know City Gear and Hibbit, their reservations are open for both men's and grade school sizes. And like I said, same with Shoe Palace in-store raffle. You can go up there and enter in their raffle in-store. But we will have to wait and see with Finish Line, JD, Foot Action, Foot Locker, Champs, Kids Foot Locker. We're just gonna have to wait and see what they end up doing. I'm hoping I'm hoping the shoe doesn't get delayed. You know, this is a shoe that's going to go crazy. I already know it's going to be like the University Blue ones. Resale price on these Hyper Worlds are already crazy. I know people are selling for 800, 600, between 6 and 800. So I, I know resale prices are going to be out of this world. The hype is for sure there for these shoes. I don't have any pairs in hand yet, but I can't wait to get pairs in hand. But like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about what's going on with the Hopper Royals. If you have any information, leave it in the comments for my subscribers so they can understand what's going on. But as of right now, I just really see this shoe getting delayed just because not all these stores have it, or at least some stores delaying the release. So you may have like sneakers and City Gear Inhibit and maybe some online stores dropping the shoe this Saturday. And then like foot sites, they may have a later release day. I know foot sites have been doing their re-raffle for different things. So I, I know they have no problem uh, doing raffles later on after release day. So it'll be interesting to see what goes on with this shoe. Like I said, like I said earlier, the hype is there for this shoe. So it will sell out, but it's just a matter of when will this shoe release and how it will release and so forth and so on from there. But like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about the Hyper Royals. If you have any information about them, leave them in the comments so people can stay up to date. As always, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on that notification bell. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, and I will catch y'all later.